Hi, this is Justice. In this video, we're going to be talking about setting up the Tablet Pro Artist Pad for Rebel 4.1. 4.1 is awesome. They've done so many huge, huge improvements, including right here, preferences. Tablet has Windows 8 Plus pointer input. This is the newest touch API by Microsoft. Now the Artist Pad works perfectly. It is amazing, absolutely fantastic. All right, so one of the things that I do here, you see window, let's go and we're gonna import the default, which you can't do, you actually have to reset it, but I have mine set up that way because I'm cool. My mom says I'm cool. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click here, just close, close, close. Um, actually, don't do that. You have to drag it to the to the middle and then close it. Drag it to the middle and then close. Drag to the middle and close. Drag to the middle. Hey, you're figuring it out. And close. Okay. Now you need to go to here and export layout. And I have it named Tablet Pro. You can name it whatever you want. I give you permission. And it's a joke. And now when you open up the different panels, you're going to see them right here in the middle, which is where you want them because our goal is to not have to move our hand while we're drawing. So we want to place it down basically just as few times as possible. You know, if you're doing all this extra stuff to navigate around the screen, it's, it's really kind of problematic. Now with this setup that I have right here, I don't have a rotate um, button on here and there's a couple different things that I don't have you can rotate with your hand um, And that's fine. I mean this is very intuitive. Most of you will probably use pinch in pinch out Pan this way, but I have them on the artist pad as well and Let's pick a oh and see that's what happened here. So we did not have that separated If you don't have tablet pro installed, I have the install guide uh, on that same web page, Rebel. If you need the artist pad or a stylist, you can get it at the Tablet Pro website. That's just tabletpro.com slash Rebel, and that'll give you all of the specific ones that you need for this setup. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. Um, I think you'll like this next section. So I'm trying this out. This is kind of a different way of showing what's going on on the screen, and it's really interesting to me. And you have to let me know if you like uh, seeing this process so you can see exactly what's going on the the key presses and my hands doing all of the, the different uh, steps okay so here this is the and by the way you'll see up here this is key press OSD key press OSD is going to show all the keyboard shortcuts that I press so Z zooming in uh, I'm doing a study on Yigit which is a fantastic mech artist and I'm very new at drawing mechs, which you should be able to tell from all the perspective mistakes and everything. Okay. Shift plus N. This is the pencil tool. Let's zoom in and pan. Let's switch to the eraser, which is keyboard shortcut five. One is draw. And the nice thing is, is that Rebel 4.1 has support uh so let me see if i can show you this here preferences in tablet right here windows 8 plus pointer in, input this is so awesome i've been asking for this for a long time it's a huge deal that means that these keyboard shortcuts are going to work perfectly with rebel and that means that i can do things like draw blend when I release, I can go back to drawing, erase, and when I release, I can go back to whatever mode it was set up before. So this is blending, and I can draw in here, and erase, and go right back to blending, which is super cool. I can scale the brush up and down. So let's make this larger and more opaque, and switch to drawing mode and erase and blend. It is absolutely amazing and a huge deal. Okay, so let's go through what's on the screen here. 
So let's add a couple colors. And we can keep this up while adding colors to make this a little faster. Okay. All right, so then we're going to hide the color wheel and bring this down a little bit and switch to blending. Now I'm using just a pencil. I've been doing a lot of sketching recently and just trying to improve my technique there. All right, and let's zoom in. Okay, so you get the idea. This is over here is shift plus O, and this is the foil brush. Now I have these set to some tools that I've been using that really just kind of highlight um, what I'm trying to accomplish with, with Pencil as opposed to the Rebel 4 software, but I will put a couple of the things on here. This is Color Picker, and that's Blend. Oh, so lovely. And let's pick another color. Let's blend it and switch to three, or we can kind of go dynamically between those different modes. And let's pick something different, a flat bristly brush and erase. All right, and let's go to watercolor. And I think I actually took the water out of this one. So let's check. So we're going to hide the brush palette and we're going to open properties. And yep, I have water set very low. So let's bring that up and we'll hide the properties window. Let's pan with space. And you can see how the color is going to diffuse. Over here, we have the blow tool. And again, because of the improvements they made in Rebel, I can dynamically go, all right, blow tool and smudge tool. And I actually still have the watercolor brush selected, which is very cool. Okay, so up here, this is properties, brush creator, tools, and visual settings. We're gonna put rewet really high because that's actually pretty fun to see. And close that. This is our tilt settings. We're gonna turn tilt on and drag it down. You can see immediately how this plays a role. Turn it around. And this is just, just the water, the wet paint moving around the screen. Okay, let's put it here and let's hide that. Let's add some more watercolor here and select another color and another color. And let's pause the diffusion. So down here we have pause we have dry, um, dry is this one right here. So I just dried everything, which is not gonna be cool. So let's undo that and unpause and switch to the blow tool. <laughs> yes, I'm a big dork. Okay, this is the dry tool. So we're gonna dry a little bit here to show wet. You can see where I dried the area, the uh, the canvas, and let's blow paint into the dry area, and let's use some water. We're going to draw some water on the screen. You can see how that's going to play a role. Water, water, water. Again, this is going to just work like acid because of the rewet property set so high. It's just going to eat the paint that's on the canvas. And then that gravity from the tilt is going to bring it right back down. Uh, this is pause. We did dry. Wet the layer is right next to it, right here. Oh, now everything's wet. Okay, this is fast dry, which is F. But I don't want to do that because I like seeing everything move around. This is the wind key, hello wind key. So our marker tool. Marker I use for shading. So let's actually select a dark black color so you can see how this works. This is an overlay mode. So if you're drawing something and you just want to put a shadow and you want to have it incrementally 
darken, you can do this in stages and layers. So I like this because I, if I want this whole area here to be the same shade, whether I'm pressing hard or soft, this is a really easy way to make some shadows. So let's go ahead, let's fast dry. Fast dry means that we still have water on the screen. All right, so let's make some shadows here. And just like that. Kind of neat. All right, uh, so this is oil brush, watercolor, marker, pencil, smudge, blow tool, dry tool, water tool, wet the layer, dry the layer, pause diffusion, wind key. I don't know if you can see where I'm. <laughs> I have to press these. Okay. All right, three, four, this is mix mode, this is blend mode, this is paint mode, this is erase mode. Again, the keyboard shortcuts are in the top right with key press OSD. This is zoom, pan, color picker, and notice that we're still in erase mode, so we have to select here, undo. Redo I have actually quite a bit higher because I don't use it very often. And resize and up and down opacity and layers. And up here is the brush palette. This is the color set or swatch. This is the color picker or color panel. Undo, this is shift key, which you can see here. Got to make sure I press the button. This is going to get difficult because the <laughs> I'm holding a green board on my chest. That's my secret. Enter key. Here, this is tools panel, brush creator. Properties panel, reference image. By the way, this is the original image by Yigit. Yigit. That's fun to say. Okay, and tilt, visual settings. Uh, up here, this is delete. Um, okay, we're going to press it. Oh, oh, oh. No, not delete. This is control D. This is deselect. Uh, this is transform and deselect. And this is, oh, I have this set actually directly to the um, lasso tool, the uh, loose lasso tool. Uh, what is that one called? Oh, we're in transform. Let's go back here. This one is called, I'm supposed to know these, freehand. Okay, so that's lasso, that's deselect. This is going to delete the entire layer. Oops. If you have something selected, it'll delete just that because it's the delete key. Okay, this is tab, which if you have, if you have something selected, uh, I'm sorry, if you have uh, any windows open, like I have everything hidden. So this would alternate between those two things. Uh, this might be better set for something else. This is flipping the canvas, shift plus F. This is copy. This is paste. Ooh, and you know what this is. This is very important. All right, so here, these are pixels. What? Pixels? When did this happen? It happened a long time ago. Okay, so if I want to do a transparency lock, now I have and I will paint only on the pixels that are on the screen, which is very cool because you can do some really fun things by keeping it layer or transparency locked. And you can see how that is working. Just pick a color. Oh yeah. Okay, uh, up here, this is a keyboard, 
touch keyboard. Okay, so I have made a few adjustments since the beginning of this video. Uh, I did put a rotate in there. I moved four. Uh, actually, four is in the same spot. Three is right below. So we have the blend mode or mix mode. Uh, one is in the same spot. Um, I've added a smudge tool and actually created a... Oh, let's actually push this here. All right, so we have a smudge tool. I made a blur brush, which you can find on the Rebel, uh, tabletpro.com Rebel page. And see, I moved some of these down. So blow is down, water tool is down, wet all is down a little further. And I've moved all the way to the top left corner, uh, show hide wet. All right, that's the changes. This whole thing is the Tablet Pro Artist Pad, which um, you probably know because I'm pretty sure I will mention it at the beginning of this video. Okay, this is the uh, right-click menu for the Tablet Pro Artist Pad. All right, I think that's everything here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, watch the other tutorials that I have on Rebel 4. I put everything on the Tablet Pro Rebel page, which is tabletpro.com slash rebel, R-E-B-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. And yes, it's important to say it that way. All right. I think that's everything. Uh, this, this preset over here, the rebel one that's got all the pretty colors, that one will be available on my website. Also, if you buy or don't have a copy of rebel yet, it's awesome, super, super good, and really great with Tablet Pro because of this addition that they've, they've done in Rebel 4.1. So if you use that link, I will get a commission for it, and I appreciate it. My family appreciates it, so please use that link. All right, that's it. Okay, have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video.